Today we are going to learn about species area relationship. The number of different species present in a unit area is considered as a species richness. In my locality, so that is uh, if my locality is uh, 1 kilometer or 10 kilometers range. So, this is the locality, it is the 10 kilometers range. So, here the number of species which are present here in this area, not the same species but the different species, uh, plants, animals, uh, bacteria, algae, fungi, all the animal, all the species which are present in this 10 kilometers area is known as a species richness. So, the number of species per unit area is known as species richness. So, how the species are related to area which was first explained by a scientist who is known as Alexander von Humboldt. So, he is the scientist who described the relation between species and area. So, according to Alexander, Species richness increases with increasing area. So, as the area increases, so this is a 10 kilometers area. If we increase the area to 20 kilometers, so then the species richness also increases. So, if we further increase the area, so 50 kilometers, so let us say 50 kilometers. So, as the area is increasing, the number of species are also increasing, but this is up to a certain limit. So, species richness increases with increasing area only up to a certain limit after that. If we increase the area, so suppose we take after 50 kilometers, if we increase the area. 200 kilometers or 300 kilometers, uh, the richness uh, becomes stable or it it goes, it approaches an equilibrium. So, this is the conclusion by Alexander Van Ham Bolt. So, this is very important uh, in NEET and board examination. Species richness increases with the increasing area only up to a certain limit after that it becomes the equilibrium or it attains a stable state. <coughs> so, if we draw a graph taking area on the x axis and uh, species richness on y axis uh, we will get a rectangle hyperbola. So, this is the non-linear curve it is in the shape of a rectangle hyperbola. So, the equation for this uh, nonlinear curve is a s equal to c a to the power of z, where s is equal to species richness and c is y intercept and a is area and z is slope of the line. So, that is known as regression coefficient. So, as the area increases, as the area increases, so the curve is increasing, that is the species richness is increasing up to a certain limit. After that, the a, this becomes a straight, uh, it becomes a stable, that is it attains a equilibrium state. Further increasing in area does not change the species richness. So, to make, we cannot find the number easily when the curve is a non-linear one. To make it a linear one, so we use the log scale. So, we you apply log on either side of the equation, that is why this scale is known as log log scale. So, when we apply log scale to make it a straight line, that is a rectangular hyperbola line to a straight line. So, the equation becomes log s equal to log c plus z log a. Okay. So, now we can easily interpret. So, as the area increases, as the area increases which is on the x axis increases, the species richness also increases. So, this is about, so at 40 degrees, at, for, at 40 degrees that is a tan 45 which is equal to 1. 
so here so this is the angle between species richness and the area so at a 45 degrees tan the z value equal to 1 so at 45 degrees the z value is equal to 1 so if the angle is less and that is below 45 degrees so tan for below tan 45 the z value becomes less than 1 so so it move it is like this so z value is less than 1 so it may be 0 0.6 or something so if the tan value increases above 45 degrees then the z value is greater than 1 so this occurs when the area is very vast when we take into the consideration the whole planet or all the whole continent then the z value is equal to 1 z value is greater than 1 so it becomes 1.5 or something so like this the as the z value increases the curve becomes steeper so what is meant by steeper means here the curve moves towards the species richness it moves towards the left side if the z value is less than 1 then it moves towards the right side that is towards the x axis so this is about species area relationship z value for tropical rainforest is greater than 1 so in the examination uh, you may be asked the equation and definition is very important and the z values are very important what is the importance of biodiversity so another scientist tillman so another scientist tillman so he conducted experiments uh, considering the two different plots so taking the two different plots so as the species richness increases stability of the ecosystem increases so what tillman observed by conducting experiment on two plots so this is a plot one then this is plot b so here the species richness is species richness is less so one two or more species are present so in plot b species richness is high so here different number of species are present plants big plants herbs shrubs creepers all and uh, animals different type of animals are present in the uh, in the area b area but in a area only two or two or four species are present so he, here species richness is less in the plot b species richness is more so this area is less stable when compared to b so it is more stable this ecosystem is more stable because it contains n number of species more number of species are present it is less stable because it can be easily destroyed by human activities or natural calamities but this area it is somewhat difficult to destroy because here uh, uh, different types of species are present so to remove different so here big plants are present to remove big plants is a very difficult task so uh, it is very difficult to destroy by human or by the nature to some extent and the second one so the productivity of this one is less productivity that is the form is here it is a less productive so here only few species are present so the productivity is less that is biomass the formed biomass will be less in plot a but here as the number of species are present productivity is high so here 
the change in the productivity the fluctuations in the productivity are very less in plot b here fluctuations are more that's why according to tillman biodiversity helps to stabilize the ecosystem so that is the main importance of biodiversity so that's why we have to conserve biodiversity i hope you understood the lesson thanks for watching happy studying